So I wanted to play some Planicide 2 this morning. So let's do that. Let's run it into bug mode just to see what the log file says. So we get the launcher, it validates everything, and we kick it off by hitting play. And then shortly after, we get this little guy, Battle Eye Launcher. So let's take a look at the debugger. And there's not really a lot of information in here, a lot of jQuery stuff, but nothing about the Battle Eye. All right, so let's go ahead and go to WineHQ and find out what's going on. So, uh-oh, what does not? Battle Eye Launcher required to start the game. Starting Battle Eye service hangs indefinitely. Okay, well, let's take a look at the bug. Oh no, Battle Eye 2 is not starting. So it looks like there's a couple workarounds, but instead of using a workaround, you know, let's do something a little bit different. I mean, I want to play Planet Side 2 so bad, why don't I just play it on Windows? I mean, after all, it doesn't run on Linux, right? So if you're not familiar with Planet Side 2, you can of course watch my previous video. But that bug regarding BattleEye makes it so you cannot run Planet Side 2 the way I did through Wine. Those days are over. Now granted, it might be fixed at some point in the future, but I've kind of decided to forego the Wine route and just play this on Windows. Now, obviously we're not actually playing on Windows. As you can see here, this is in fact a virtual machine. This is VMware, VMware Player, though you can do the exact same thing with VMware Workstation. We've got four processors, we've got six gigs of RAM, two gigs of this RAM will be used for graphics memory, and it is a uh, fully fledged Windows install running inside of my Ubuntu host. So I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the previous video I did of Planet Side, but the graphics settings are about the same. They're roughly medium, and I was hoping that I would find some action, but... So, as you may know, VMware Workstation and VMware Player are not Type 1 hypervisors. So everything is being virtualized. My GPU is virtualized. My disk is virtualized. My network adapter is virtualized. This is a completely virtualized environment. And we're playing this very demanding, multi-threaded, 64-bit 3D game. Hey, there you go. Took out a turret. You see any lag? And you know, for posterity, let's go ahead and test out another game that no longer works on Linux. It's EverQuest 2. Now granted, EverQuest 2 is by the same folks that made Planetside, and it's using the, the same BattleEye engine thing, which is why it no longer runs on Linux. I think that EverQuest 2 did run on Linux via Wine. I, I don't know how well. But here we are in Antonica or Antosia or something. Uh, it looks interesting, but I think it runs pretty well. I have no idea what the graphics settings are on. Actually, it looks kind of crappy, but it does run, so there is that. I don't remember how to play, like, at all. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've actually never really tested this game besides installing it and logging in as one of my other characters. Okay, well, this is interesting and all. So we can see that EverQuest 2 works just fine. So let's wrap this video up with a little Skyrim. So of course Skyrim is a game that runs, it used to run just fine on, on Wine, I'm not sure if it still does. And by the way, I'm editing out a lot of the loading sequences, they're just long and, and frivolous and I don't want this video to be too long. But as you can see, it's the, the sluggishness comes from when you enter a new area, it has to basically load everything in the buffer into memory and that's kind of what causes the sluggish. But once everything is loaded in, it's not really a problem. So I, I haven't played Skyrim in like two, maybe two years or so, so I, I barely remember how to play. I don't normally use two-handed weapons, I don't even know where the hell this axe came from, but I played it a little bit to know that it, it actually runs pretty well. So yeah, you can definitely play Windows games that you can't normally play on Wine on Linux using a virtual machine. It's definitely possible. And you don't have to have a second GPU to do it, which is what you need for a PCI pass-through. So... All right, I think that that'll wrap this video up. 
What do you say we just go ahead and put an axe in it? 